The 80s was a decade of bold fashion, awesome music, and excess. It was a time of cultural milestones like the emergence of MTV, Watch my MTV. and the explosion of technology and gaming. It was also marked by political changes and increasing tensions in the Cold War. Tear down this wall. And at the movies, it was bigger than life blockbusters. Whether action adventure icons or lovable underdogs, heroes ruled the box office. There are a lot of classic 80s movies, but one movie stands above them all as the pinnacle of 80s cinematic perfection. And that movie, my friends, is Rocky IV, and here's five reasons why. But first, this is Dan from the Gen Xers. Please consider liking and subscribing. One, it has Sly Stallone. There are a lot of great action stars of the 80s, but none bigger than Sylvester Stallone. Some might argue Arnold. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. But Sly had three of the biggest grossing movies of the 1980s. Rocky IV, Rambo First Blood Part II, and Rocky III. Creating two of the most iconic action heroes of all time in the process. Making Stallone the most consistently bankable star of the 80s. Two. The ultimate training montage. Films of the 80s had more than their fair share of montages. In fact, it eventually became such a trope that it was easily mockable. Gonna need a montage. But let's admit it, there's something extremely satisfying in a well-made training montage, and none did it better than Rocky IV. This wasn't the half-hearted training of Rocky III. Damn, Rock, come on! What's the matter with you? This was all out testosterone-fueled and over-the-top. In one corner, you have Rocky training primitive style in the sub-zero temperatures of Siberia. He carries a log. He does cool sit-ups. He climbs a mountain. Drago! In the other corner, Drago trains with the stilly-eyed determination of a guy who will be sent to train where Rocky is training if he doesn't win. It's heart versus science. Possibly even illegal science. Whatever he hits, he destroyed. And it ends up with the best fight in the Rocky Cinematic Universe, and some say in cinematic history. I must break you. Three, the awesome soundtrack. Ow! Of course, no training montage is complete without some killer music. Rocky IV has a whole soundtrack of it. It went platinum, selling over a million copies, and had two top ten singles. In the What, you say? It can't be the perfect 80s soundtrack without Kenny Loggins. Buddy, it's got him. Four, the robot. The hell is this? People are gonna hate on it, but what's more 80s than a robot? Every 80s movie had to have an adorable sidekick of some kind. A robot, a furry creature from outer space, a kid. Whatever it happened to be. Fine. Rocky beats the crap out of a communist. The 80s were marked by intense political tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, and Rocky IV takes full advantage of that backdrop. <laughs> Film explores the rivalry between Rocky and Ivan Drago, who represents the imposing Soviet boxing machine. It showcases the clash of ideologies and highlights the power of individual perseverance in the face of political differences. It's an over-the-top 80s style reflection of real-world events that shaped that era. And I think we can all agree that we have Rocky's heart and perseverance to thank for ending the Cold War once and for all. If I can ch subscribe. And you can ch subscribe. Everybody can ch subscribe. It was a very 80s film, very MTV. Then the robot.